I don't have anything for you. Mommy got nothing. Nothing, Milton. Mommy got nothing. They've gotten too used to you giving them treats. Now they don't even listen to me. I don't give them treats. I mean, over the course of your relationship with them. Good morning, guys. I am up and Adam, I've been working this morning already. I've been going through emails. This week, I've been going back and forth with like pretty much every keto company out there <laughs> in the process of gathering free samples and items for the swag bags for Keto Palooza. Uh, it's coming along so nicely. I am so excited. As of right now, even with everything going on, Keto Palooza is still scheduled for September 19th and 20th of this year in Louisville, Kentucky. If anything changes, I'll be sure to let you know. But as of right now, it is on and it is going to be amazing. You can find more information about Keto Palooza and how to get tickets down below. My goal is for the value of the swag bag to exceed the cost of the ticket. And at the rate that I'm going right now, we are well on our way. So between the swag bags and a lot of companies are donating items for giveaways and raffles, like <clears throat> excitement. Do you also know what I'm really excited about? First of all, I am actually very excited about doing Les Mills Body Combat today. So I have finished the July walking challenge. I did 75 miles in June, 50 miles in July, and I'm gonna be doing zero miles in August. Hello, probably not zero, but just no more challenges. I'm excited to get back to my Les Mills basement workouts. And yesterday I did Shabam and I really loved it, but today I am doing Body Combat. So I'm honestly very excited about that, but nowhere near as excited as I am about the zip fizz that I'm about to have, okay? So let's see, today we are having, bam! Is this pink lemonade? You know guys, I can always tell by the color of the tube, like, Maybe that'll be a game at Keto Palooza, okay? Like, guess the Zip Fizz flavor by only the color of the tube. Comment down below how many of you think you could probably do that. And got my hashtag wax swag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, mm. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To a new month, to exceeding our goals and making ourselves proud, to count down to Keto Palooza, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, pink lemonade. It's just too good. It's just too good. Milton. Oh, okay. Bye. Mm. Hi, Mitty. Madeline, hi. Milton, sit. Milton. Good boy. You sat so quickly. Good boy. Sheila says, good morning, Wack fam. I have no sound on my PC, so just watching and reading chat. <laughs> hi, Sheila. Hi. Hey, Sheila. Nice. I bet she can read that. Okay. Sheila said, happy early birthday, Richard. My birthday is Tuesday. Happy birthday, happy Sheila. Happy birthday, Sheila. Okay, guys, we just finished the live. We are about to go shopping for meal prep, but I just turned on Facebook, and who is live on my Facebook? None other than my sister right now. She is putting her face on in your on in your life right now and it's not going quite the way you want it if you know if you don't feel god telling you to move keep
keep in that situation it's not always going to feel good it's not supposed to but i want to remain faithful in in seasons when i don't even want to here she is putting on eyebrows but she can't help preaching no matter what she does i, I was actually watching learning about the eyebrows and now oh lord there's there's look there's my husband there's my sister there's my husband there's my sister now she's about to put on these eyelashes i thought i heard her voice yes she's about to put on the lashes that i was telling y'all about she is obsessed oh my god oh those were you wearing those were the ladies night ones that i was wearing oh my gosh everybody support my sister look at her look we each have our own things that are equally as important and interesting because lord knows i can't do it Sister time. Take them off the holder and then I like to fold them a little bit, bend them. Yes, yeah, girl. Okay, guys, so we are on our way to the store and I just wanted to let you guys know what my plan for the month of August is. If you don't know already, I have created a challenge called carnivogus so what that means is that like i plan to eat carnivore in august right you know as much as i failed at it in my last attempt i don't think that was carnivore's fault i think that was the way that i approached carnivore so i feel confident that what i am doing this month will really help me stick to my goal of being carnivore the entire month Number one, the, the craziest thing that I'm doing this week coming up is I'm doing intuitive carnivore. You know what that means? I'm not weighing, I'm not measuring, I'm not doing anything except actually just putting as much food as I want onto a plate and eating it. Like one of the benefits or one of the things that people always say about carnivore is like, oh, you can eat as much as you want because you're eating like meats and whole foods. And I'm like, Oh, I can eat as much as I want, you say, right? So I'm putting that theory to the test. I am going to be keeping track of how much I'm eating. I'm going to be post tracking. So what that means is I'm going to be weighing and measuring how much I eat, but that's after I've already decided that's how much I want to eat, you know? So I'm not going to let the scale stop me. I'm just going to let the scale measure how much that I want to eat. And we'll really see how many calories I end up eating throughout the day and what that does to my weight so that's going on the first week of carnivore and then if that works i might keep doing it but i do also have a plan for a 2200 calorie carnivore meal prep so that's what i plan on doing the rest of the month and so when i say carnivore i mean basically fewer than 10 total carbs a day because i'm not doing strict carnivore i will be having some diet soda there will be some zero calorie zero carb sweeteners in there so i know with true strict carnivore that's not the case but don't come for me in these comments okay like i'm i'm doing it my way right so how i do going to Costco and I am uh, super depressed because I just realized I left my Fitbit at home like I took it off to charge it and you know you always say to yourself oh I'll remember to get it before I leave and you just never remember to get it and now all these walks all these steps that I'm about to get around the Costco warehouse will just be for naught because they're not gonna be counted on my flipping Fitbit. So today is meaningless and that's about it.
One thing that I have realized recently is that I wasted a lot of cilantro. <laughs> so you buy these bundles for 79 cents at the store and they would come in like just this, this big bundle. And normally what I would do is just maybe like cut the top off of it and be like, well, this is my cilantro. And I would throw, you know, what, what I assumed to be the stems and all the other parts away. And then one day I just like really took, took the bundle apart and realized that like, Leaves, the leaves go all the way down. See, normally I would have just cut from here up and throw the rest of it away. Look at all this leafy cilantro goodness that I was leaving on the table. So, <laughs> we all know me being as thorough as humanly possible. Uh, one of my new pastimes has been to just pick the cilantro leaves, like every single stem. Like, look, those are the discarded stems. Like, I mean, those are bare bone. You know what I'm saying? So I normally I do this in front of the kitchen counter in the kitchen while I'm singing songs, but I was like, I'm going to be on my feet if I don't have to. So I'm sitting in front of the television and we are watching a documentary on Hamilton. And so this is like the best of both worlds. I'm getting all my cilantro's money worth. I mean, 79 cents is a great deal. <laughs> uh, and then I'm watching uh, stuff about Hamilton. So, you know, take some time with your herbs you know what i'm saying uh the the bundles that you buy from the store and you will really get more value out of it so there's that okay guys meal prep is done time to take a look all right guys there we have it take a look if it is not on this table i will not be consuming it next week oh geez louise so for my intuitive carnivore i'm going to be having two meals the first being breakfast i'm gonna have eggs and butter with sausage and bacon and then I'm gonna have pretty much taco tray without the carbs so there's not gonna be any lettuce or guacamole but there's pretty much gonna be that ground beef I got cheese I got pork rinds I got my sauces I have that chipotle mayo sour cream these are all things that I am enjoying oh you see here I got cello wisps and moon cheese so I will be crunching these snacks as well now these do have carbs like one carb per serving so I am tallying that into my 10 total carbs but i mean look if we take a look nothing else here has carbs so you know i'll be spending my carbs on cheese and uh basically sour cream pork rinds zero carb uh, and then this is the dessert that i'm having i'm having my whipped cream snack with some zero calories zero carb zero everything skinny syrup so i am having some sweeteners also oh not pictured sprite i will be having a sprite a day and then other than that just water but yeah this is what I'm gonna be eating. This is four pounds of ground beef right here. So I'll be able to just plop as much of that on my plate that I want. This is eight ounces of cheese, all the bacon strips I could ever want my entire life. So like, I'm just gonna give this a go this week and see what happens. I'm really excited to be trying something new. I'm excited to be setting myself up for success. Hopefully, I really think that's what I'm doing. I'm hoping for some good results, but I'm also just excited to, you know, keep it simple this week and get back to bare bones and to clean keto and I know it's gonna feel great. Comment down below, are you participating in August? Let me know. Also comment like, what are your thoughts on intuitive eating? Like, do you track, do you weigh and measure? We all know that's how I live, so. This is gonna be outside of my comfort zone, but I am excited for it. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. of like when you moved in like the end of july you didn't know i didn't even remember saying. you didn't i remember you were so strong yes like the like no sugar. impact exactly but since it's not sugar, sugar they can call it sugar, call it sugar. Hey. Bye. Bye.